So I want, I want to talk about something um, that I think is very important and it's in the news right now. And look, I know the classified documents, it's, it's still wrapped up. We had Mike Pence um, say he takes total responsibility for the the documents that were found in his home. We understand that the document scandals are still ramping up. You still have the debate. Well, which one was worse? Was it Biden? Was it Trump? Now we have Mike Pence. Oh, what's going on? We understand it. But I'm pushing that aside today. I'm pushing that aside because I, I really want to talk about the debt ceiling. Uh, and I, I think the story of the debt ceiling has been pushed off. And I, I think it's done purposely, to be honest with you. Why do I think that? Because, you know, the debt ceiling, we still have a deadline until later this year. Until we have to do something with the debt ceiling. We have hit it. It's, it's right now sitting at $31.4 trillion. The United States supposedly isn't supposed to take money now that, that we're, we're at our limit. We're at our limit. This is, um, and I, the best way I can describe this is a credit card. Okay. If you have a credit card that has a $200 limit on it, you spend $200, you can't spend no more. Uh, now, if the, now if the, if the company would come to you and say, Hey, look, we're going to extend your debt limit to 300. Well, you have an extra hundred to spend, but when you hit that limit, Normal, normally, normal people in reality, you know, here that we live on earth uh, in America, when you hit your limit on your credit card, you're not supposed to spend no more money uh, unless you're like super rich and they keep adding to it or whatever. But evidently it's going to come to a point where that debt company is going to say, listen, we cannot extend your debt limit no more longer, no longer. It's impossible. You're just not paying the debt. And that's where we're at right now in America. We either have a choice. Uh, now, this is the only difference between the United States and regular people. America can go ahead and extend its own debt limit. And I, I, to be honest with you, I, I really don't agree with that. Now, it will have to happen. I, I talked to an individual yesterday. He is known throughout the world. Uh, he's part of SBN. And he said, look, it, it's going to happen. The debt ceiling will rise. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say, well, Republicans should not hold, uh, hold on to it. And say we're not going to raise it because we're going to have to, unfortunately. We will have to raise the debt ceiling. But this is the problem with the debt ceiling, ladies and gentlemen. We're having the Republicans saying, look, we want to cut back. We want to take things out. We want to we want to go ahead and do something with this debt ceiling since we have it. But the Democrat Party, especially the president of the United States, is saying we are not going to work with the Republican Party. And we don't want to negotiate with the Republican Party. We want it our way. And look, they've been having that for two years. For the past two years, the Democrat Party has had it their way. For the past two years, they've been in control of everything. They've been in control of the House. They've been in control of the Senate. They've been in control of the presidency. They got everything they wanted for two years. Everything they wanted for two years, they got, ladies and gentlemen, and my curtain. Um, anyway, uh, but for two years, they have been getting everything they wanted. Now that we have a House of Representatives that is Republican, with a, is a slight majority, I think four seats we have, the Democrats going nuts. Oh, we, we want our debt ceiling raised, and the Republican Party saying, no, we cannot do it. I think that's in a strategy way. I was hearing Senator Ted Cruz and Rand Paul on a video from the Hodge twins, uh, and they were talking about, look, the debt ceiling helps the Republican Party right now. That is the bargaining chip that we have. That is one of the only things we have to our advantage right now because it, it, popular demand says that the Democrat Party likes to spend money. I, look, I don't care who you are, but majority of the time, it's more a Democrat spends money than the Republicans. And the Democrats want that money. They want to fund their programs. They want to fund Medicaid. They want to fund uh, works with comp. They want to uh, they want to fund all these things to where their people that are living off the government can get what they want. And unfortunately, those are people that are relying on the government. Look, I'm in hard times right now, but guess what? I'm not running to the government to get free stuff. But major there's a lot of people out there, and these are what these programs, this is what this $31 trillion, part of it, not all of it, but part of it, is going to. And look, like Senator Rand Paul is asking for a clean sweep. Hey, let's take out 100000 here, 100000 there. Let's do something that's going to hit. We have to change the spending problem. 
And look, it's just not I'm, I'm going to sit here and I'm not going to say it's just the Democrat Party. Because there's there are a lot of commentators that do that. They go ahead and they say, well, it's the Democrats fault when this debt ceiling incident. No, it's not. And I'm about to prove it to you right here. And these numbers come from Ted Cruz in that video I saw. And this is what made me start thinking about this. So let, let's go look at some numbers. How did we get here to 31.4 trillion dollars? in a debt ceiling and it's going to rise they want to raise it up again the democrats want to raise it the republicans want to change up things and they're not negotiating until they get their changes and joe biden say no i'm not going to do that and ladies and gentlemen this is contention right here like i said we have months down the road the media isn't showing it because i i think and i was i i, I started chasing a rabbit when i was making this point earlier the media isn't going to start showing it right now they're going to wait until it gets closer and closer and try to shame the Republican Party into to, they're going to try to bully them into raising the debt ceiling. And Kevin McCarthy needs to hold his ground and the Republicans need to hold his ground. Listen, the, the conservatives have a lot of power right now with them four seats. They need four votes. If they don't get them four votes, nothing's going to pass with Kevin McCarthy. And those are majority. Cons there's, there's more than four conservatives. that will say, no, we'll hold back until we get what we want. We've seen it with the speaker's race. Did I agree with the speaker's race, uh, how they held off on it? No, I think they should have got it done. But guess what? Them conservatives got what they wanted as well. So it was a benefit. But let's go back to the points. Because is this not, it's just not Democrats that are that, that caused this problem. Republicans have as well. This, and like I said, let me go ahead and bring my point. Um, the first 42 presidents of our nation altogether spent $5 trillion. Ladies and gentlemen, that was only... 23 years ago. Why? Because the president that doubled the debt of from $5 trillion to close to $10 trillion was Bush 43. Oh, oh he, must have been a, he must have been a Democrat, Isaac. No, he was a Republican. Bush 43, a Republican, raised the debt to $10 trillion. One president, one president went ahead and doubled our national debt. When the first 42, now don't get me wrong, you have history where like Franklin D. Roosevelt and others that, that raised a lot of, raised the debt. But ladies and gentlemen, five trillion, and I know, I know money is different right now. The value of money has with inflation and everything. I understand that. But think about this. The first 42, uh, 42 presidents, this is including Bill Clinton, and Bill Clinton likes spending money, raised the debt to five trillion dollars at the end of bill clinton's term in the white house a republican came and doubled it close to 10 trillion dollars oh whoa, whoa, whoa. that that ain't good well hold on we're gonna go ahead and get now now let's go to the democrat side barack obama came into office now he came into office with a 10 trillion dollar debt he even ran the campaign and said it is sad that president bush Raised the debt to 10 trillion. It was unpatriotic. That is his quote. His, his tenure of the eight years of him being president. Ra raised the debt to 20 trillion. Trump came into office. Now Trump's businessman. He had a plan. He only had four years. But now, now listen to this though. Trump. In his four years as president. Raised the debt to seven trillion. Now Trump did say, "I have a plan in my second term to bring it down and all that stuff." But if Trump would have kept the way he was spending, he was on a track to spend fourteen trillion dollars. This is another Republican president. Remember, we're supposed to be conservatives. We conserve things, but not according to these Republican presidents. Now we're at Joe Biden, where Joe Biden has spent money on the infrastructure plan. He has spent money on stimulus. He has done all kinds of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. He has spent money. Now we know also what, now we also know with Trump that at a point that half of that was the pandemic. Also, they would say with Biden, majority of his adding to the debt was part of the pandemic. We can give him that a little bit, but still $7 trillion in four years. That's a lot of money. Now, but let's go to Biden. Biden has so far in his term, and he's, this is 2023. He has, and it's the beginning of 2023 at the time of this episode. So he is, he's only been in there for two years. 
but he was inaugurated at the late part of January. It's January 29th. So, yeah, he just made two years in office. He's spending, he spent $4 trillion. He's on track, on track. I'm saying he did not get there, but he's on track to spend $8 trillion four years as president. And if you go on that, that line, if he would win a second term, he would he was on track to spend sixteen trillion. And that's just the stuff. That, that's not the, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we've gotten to this. So it's just not Democrats. It's just not. It's it's Republicans as well that help this debt crisis happen. Now the Republicans want to come in. They want to cut things. Like I said, I, look, I'm predicting this already. The debt ceiling will rise, ladies and gentlemen. It will rise. It's not. It's not stagnant. We we need we need to run this country. But ladies and gentlemen, for the Democrats to go ahead and say we don't we want y'all to as I quoted, um, I think I did two episodes ago where I talked about how the Democrats want to eliminate. The debt ceiling. Let's just let's just get rid of it. So we have a limited spending. That would be that that would be it. That that right there would be dangerous. And I'm glad the, Repo the House Republicans are saying, no, we're not gonna do that because this is how we're holding on to this is how we're holding on to the balance of power right now. This is our bargaining chip, and we're not getting rid of it. The Democrats and the, the president wants to eliminate it. The, Dem the, the president has gone so far to say, hey, look, give me all the money I needed without any limitations. You never I, look. I would like to ask any business owner. That goes into a bank and says, look, I want to borrow a fifty thousand dollar loan. And when the banks, the bank's going to say, well, there's no limits. There's no uh, there's no uh, uh, there's no uh, standards of what you got to pay or anything. We just look. Hey, here's the money. Sign right here. No limits. You, you don't have a, we're not even going to set a date for you to pay it back. Go to a bank and do that. You will never find that. But that's what the president wants Congress to do. And ladies and gentlemen, I, this is an issue. Because look, we, we talked about this uh, in earlier programs. Big government, big spending. When you have a government as big as ours now. And they want to control the power that they have. They need money to do it. And the they, majority of this money is to go to programs for you to rely on the government. And if we don't stop this spending crisis, if we don't get a hold of this right now, unfortunately, our country is going to crumble and it's going to fall. Because we are spending money we don't have. 